Here's a fun lesson that will help, again, just open up the world of curiosity for your child. This lesson is very simple to create and it's on the different types of frogs in the world. What we've done is we found a calendar with absolutely stunning pictures of frogs. This one is the green burrowing frog. The dying dart frog. And all of these frogs are just the color and the, the textures that you can see are amazing. And if you are a real overachiever, what you can do is look up little facts about these frogs. And some calendars even will have a little fact about whatever the item is for that calendar. But come up with fun ways of, of exploring these animals or whatever it is that the subject is. But for instance, these frogs, you can talk about how Sometimes the more colorful the frog is, the more poisonous it is, and talk to your child about why. I know in the classroom, I had a lesson very similar to this where I was working with frogs, and the children and I would actually get in a frog jumping position because one frog in particular, in order to get the attention of the female frog, would jump up and down because it couldn't make a sound. So it would jump up and down, and so we would get on our in our frog position and jump up and down just like that frog. But these frogs are absolutely beautiful. This is the lemur leaf frog. And just really get into talking with your kids about maybe why the names came up. For instance, the clown tree frog. You know, why do you think they named this a clown tree frog? The blue poison dart frog the golden mantella. So what this lesson really is about is just taking a look at what you have access to and making it a work. Again, real pictures will incite real curiosity and it allows your child to really take a look at the world around them in a whole new way.